It's almost the middle of 2022 and it's been two years of a pandemic. Everyone is returning to their workplace. During the work from home days, I got used to the custom keyboard so much that I couldn't live without it. Now, it's time for me to make myself a custom keyboard for the workplace. Let's begin. Uh, so for the workplace keyboard, I had some criteria in mind. Firstly, I need a board with a numpad as I work on spreadsheets. Secondly, a wireless one to connect to my laptop. And also, it has to be a budget one. After researching a bit in Taobao AliExpress, I have decided to go with Holy Tom TM980. It's a pretty affordable 1800 layout kit that comes with 5-pin hotswappable PCB to cater on hotswap sockets, south-facing LED, and wireless connectivity with 2.4GHz dongle and Bluetooth. 1800 layout is basically a compressed full-sized layout with numpad. The most important part is this kit is super duper cheap for only 45 US dollar at Taobao. And look, they've also slipped in a desk mat as well. Nice. Okay, uh, time to start building this board. Since the objective is to not to annoy the co-workers, I have to ensure that the board will sound deep and muted. For this, I made a layer of silicon inside of the case. I have used a food grade 1 is to 1 ratio silicon. All you have to do is just mix them and pour them inside, carefully of course, and let it dry. This has also added additional weight to the kit and made it a bit heavier. Also, there is a EVA plate from between PCB and plate, so that will also help us in treating the sound. Next, as usual, I did the Tempest Tape mod. Uh, in the meantime, I also looped the stock stabilizers. They come in pre-clipped, so it was not that of a hassle. Okay, now time to decide the switches. For this, I will be going with the Gatoron Pro Milky Yolo. I like the Gatoron Yolo smoothness and deep muted clack, so I thought, why not this again? And finally, the most important part, the keycaps. Since I went for a very weird case color that is uh, sort of a translucent purple and uh, I wasn't finding any match with all the keycaps I initially had. So finally, I took the courage and went for the Akko ASA Midnight ones. To be fair, I never expected these keycaps to go so much well with this boat color. So with all said and done, time to check whether this is going to annoy my co-workers or not.
Well, uh, this sounds exactly what I expected it to be. Deep sounding. The sound treatment, keycaps profile and switches have given it a great sound signature. And as for the wireless connectivity, it was fine. So far, I haven't faced any issues with the connectivity. Plus for that, the stock plate is still and I wish there were ways to have a custom polycarbonate or POM plate. So I tried another thing. I asked one of my colleagues to try it out and wanted to see his reaction on this board. I overall thought it's camera monitor. Okay, so basically the sound is amazing. Mm -hmm. But I think it uh I don't know, not used to this. Regenic so Tomaka say monoche is travel tech to Bashi maybe. So I it's too heavy. But overall if you get used to it, it's very satisfying. Sound itself and it's like no. There's no rattle and it's very like smooth. Yeah. Like the moving is done so well. Yeah, but, I know. Yeah, it sounds all to the interrupt will be quickly a bit more a little sharper, but then Baki Shakisu sounds pretty good. Uh, so far it has been my daily driver at my office desk. Uh, I absolutely love it. So overall, I feel like this has been a successful build for my workplace. Yes, I would have opted for a silent switch in a workplace, but they were a bit expensive and I wanted to opt for a cheaper build. And secondly, I don't like silent switches as of now. As long as no one is complaining, I'll keep on using it on my desk. So if you are someone looking to build a keyboard for your work within budget, look forward to this. The kit is cheap and combining with affordable switches and keycaps, you can make some great build. Easy to build even for the newcomers. So uh, I think it's time to wrap it up for today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. So until the next time, goodbye and have a great day.